guys, Jen here. So I wanted to go over a couple of things real quickly um, in regards to imposters being among us. And I this has been a pretty consistent theme on the channel since 2017, um, but seriously since 2018 when I got back from Florida. I said, you know, there was a lot of new people in the area and even the people who stop at my houses now, now who say they're with the Mormon church, they don't even bring their car around into the driveway. So I'm pretty sure they're not. I'm pretty sure um, polygamy has not ended for real in that church either. They just don't have it legal. It's just not on the books, which is lovely for uh, those of us who are in such situations without our consent. Let me just make that very clear. Um, and also just for the record, I want to say that, um, I'm doing everything that I can to reconcile myself back to the Holy Catholic Church. Um, Holy City is Vatican City. Once I repented of leaving the church, a lot of my doctrine started getting back in the proper place. A lot of my ideology, my theology, the hierarchy in my head mentally came together and the diabolical fog lifted. Ironic how that works when you're walking in the will of the Lord, isn't it? So I want to show you something, everyone who says I'm crazy or I don't know what I'm talking about. And yeah, I want to have record of it. Um, I have handed my will over to God. Whatever he wills for me, the most high God and his son, Jesus Christ, um, I am at their mercy at this point or their grace. And it is by the grace of God that I'm still here uh, to testify these things to you guys. So I'm looking for a church where I can have an actual proper confession and retake some catechism courses. And I want to show you something. So somebody who's looking for a new church, right? Who's not from the area. So let's put a couple, let's connect a couple of dots. Um, the nearest big city to me is Youngstown, right in between uh, Cleveland and Pittsburgh. Um, so this is the diocese that I would look through, right? Now we have this one up here. There's no photo available, okay? And this is publicly available information. I'm sharing it per the um, Fair Use Act of 1976. And so here we have another one. He's retired, so there's no photo, which, you know, that's fine if they were retired. You wouldn't expect their necessary. You wouldn't need a photo, right? But if I'm just going to a church and I want to make sure that I'm seeing a legitimate priest, especially with everything going on with the FSSP and the SSX, I believe, um... And with Vatican II, I knew nothing about that, almost nothing. They don't tell you that as a child. So, again, I'm doing what I can do on my end and just praying that God leads me to the right place. We have another one that's retired, no photo, which is understandable, okay? But we had one with no photo at all, okay? We have a couple retired who actually have photos. That one I'd swear I saw at a Christian church, so I'm not sure why he's on here. Um... And I want to show you a couple more because, ironically enough, they're, the church is right near me. There's another one that's retired, no photo. Retired, no photo, okay. Here's one. Um, right in Youngstown, a pastor of St. Dominic Parish, no photo available. And then we'll get to a couple more down here that don't have any either. I apologize, I'm getting to a point, I promise you. This one we have... Um, Mount Arvina, Alverna Friary, no photo for that person who looks like they're in some type of position of authority. That one, again, I would swear I've seen around, but not as a priest. Um, and this one that I actually was hoping to speak with today, no photo. And it says he's on a leave of absence. So who was I talking to? Kind of weird, huh? There's another one, retired, no photo, which is understandable. Here's one who's doing all kind of things, no photo. Another no photo, okay? And here's the other one that's at the church I was going to go to today, no photo. Why is that? Why is this happening? Here's another one in uh, the Diocese of Youngstown, no photo. So how do I check up on these people to know what their credentials are, where they went to seminary, if they've ever been accused of anything? Because there are websites like that as well. 
This is spiritual abuse. This should not be allowed. No matter what your religion is, you should have access to practice it as long as you're doing no harm to anyone, no physical harm, and you're not forcing anyone to worship, right? I'm not going to be tricked into a cult that I don't want to be a part of. I don't want to be a part of the Mormon church. Um, I've seen everything I need to see of the other churches at this point. God took me around to all the local churches. I told you how the Holy Spirit wasn't in any of them, how um, they all seem to be in error in at least one fundamental doctrinal way. So I'm doing my duty. I'm trying to send out a warning to people to be very careful with your spiritual life, to pray, to read your scripture, pray your rosary. We should be doing that every day if you're into it. I do believe that the Catholic Church is the original Church of Christ. It came first. It was founded by St. Peter himself. And again, you don't have to agree with me, but a lot of these uh, other churches that started out, the Protestant churches, Martin Luther took a nun from the church or from the convent, married her, and that's what started Lutheranism. It's all because of sin. Some people don't want to, um, they still want to be a part of a church, right? They still want that following of people. They want that reputation uh, in the neighborhood, or they used to. Um, but they also want to be Masons on the side, which Catholicism does not allow. And um, I didn't even know what those were. Had I known these things, I would never have entered into a relationship or came to a town that was so saturated in this type of behavior. Um, so just so they're aware, none of this is by my will or my free will um, or my consent. And none of your curses can fall on me or my children because we're not even married. So that person has no spiritual authority on me. The spiritual head over me is Jesus Christ and God the Father. And that's it. Any other angels that God sends me, that's up to God. I am at his will. And this. This was advertised to me. I was looking for modest dresses. And ironically enough, this came up. How easy would it be for someone, oh, I don't know, say, when everybody was covering their faces, how easy would it be for someone to put on this costume, say that they're someone that they're not? Because I know that the church I went to that said it was Catholic didn't have an actual confessional, didn't have um, the uh, uh, place for adoration of the sacrament, no tabernacle. Everything was kind of hidden off to the side in a kitchen. It was. It looks like a Protestant church other than the name and the garb that the priest was wearing. Um, that is sacrilegious. You're not supposed to be taking communion in the hand. And if you're at a Protestant church and you're taking communion and you're in a state of sin, meaning you haven't confessed, you're not supposed to take the Eucharist. I did that. I didn't. That's something I was unaware of. Now that I'm aware of, I don't even know that I can take it unless God himself makes it very known to me, like, okay, this person, you can, you know, confess to this person and take um, sacrament from them. Because that is a, a very serious affront to God. These people know this. They know what they're doing. So let me ask you something. If they know how to offend God, then obviously they know God is real. Obviously, they know that the dark side is real, and they have made their choice. They might not know what they're doing now, but they knew. And and they're misleading millions and millions of people. And I, I don't personally care if you disagree with me. My concern at this point is not offending God anymore. And is my soul and my children's soul, can they still be salvaged and redeemed? I believe they can or God wouldn't still be talking to me and giving me warnings in these things. Um, but that's my cross to bear. I've gotten the word out. I've told you what I think has been going on since the very beginning. I told you what time it is, and I told you to watch out for this Passover because they love to mock God, and that's probably when the persecution will come overt. But I know that there's bishops turning up missing, unaccounted for. Uh, all you have to do is uh, do a couple Google searches or even a search on YouTube and um, see all of the the priests that are against Vatican II are suddenly um, not around. So make of that what you will. But um, I want to make it very clear that apparently my marriage is null and void. So that person has no authority to curse me or anything else. I'm under God's will. And so are my children. They're under my spiritual authority. Well, as so far as I can still pray for them. Um, and pray that God, God brings them to the truth. Confession is needed. This is what we need in this time. Find someone to confess to or hit your knees and confess to God. The moment I hit my knees, start things started turning around for me, but I see I'm kind of stuck again. 
So um, I'm still repenting of things every single day, confessing them right to God, saying the act of contrition. If anyone wants help with these basic prayers, I can help you with those. I can give you um, websites to go to. But this is why people think that Christianity is a myth, because the KJV doesn't have the history in it. My Catholic Bible actually has its own dictionary. It has the history of the Bible in the front. It has pictures in the very middle of um, beautiful artwork, uh, you know, Catholic artwork. That's why people think it's just made up is because there's nothing backing it up. And that's why the Vatican's protected, not to be ignorant. You know, there are things that we would like to know, things that are kept from us, but they are kept like that so that through the ages, documentation can be saved and people can know their history and the roots of their church. If your church doesn't have that, it's probably it's a false religion. And I'm sorry to say that, but I am repenting and I believe the true church is the original holy church of the Catholic Church and the church that St. Peter instituted.